Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. In this video, I want to talk about internet. Yes, a very special thing about internet, which is giving you another chance. Now, I haven't seen that internet has given like much of the open wide, wide arm open opportunity to anybody to just relaunch or anything. It's really a harsh place. Now, what I'm saying will make a lot of sense uh, once we move on and jump onto the topic itself. So I was reading the blog of Mozilla website and I read that Mozilla has actually launched or relaunched their browser completely with new design, new fresh design and everything like that. It was interesting in case you are also connected with me on my Facebook page or Twitter, I have posted that as well. Now, the reason why I, make, I want to make this video is I want to give you the first look of the complete redesign and revamping of their product here. Now, the reason why I am so excited about this new Mozilla product is uh, what I think about the internet is it rarely gives you a second chance. Just to prove my point, uh, there was a website, first of all, which says Hi5, then uh, MySpace came into existence, then Orkut came into existence, and uh, then after Facebook came into existence and still now one of the biggest social media websites, social networking website. And now Twitter is gaining popularity and once people actually move to Twitter, they rarely come back to Facebook and things happen on the internet like that. Once you move on, internet doesn't give you a chance back to roll on. Similar thing happened that, uh, first of all, it was Internet Explorer, almost all cyber cafes and everybody has Internet Explorer there. And then things came upon into Mozilla Firefox. A long era came on for Mo Mozilla Firefox. Everybody used it. Then came into existence Chrome. Now on the side by side, there were a lot of browsers uh, like Opera and Safari, which tried a really hard there but actually struggled in becoming the people's favorite choice. And Chrome did it, and somehow it became people's friendly choice. Yet, everybody knows that uh, Chrome is actually uh, fedding a lot onto your RAM. It's a RAM-hungry uh, browser here and that's not a kind of a fact that I'm telling you which you didn't know already. You already knew that it consumes a lot of RAM while on the other hand Mozilla Firefox got a little bit outdated there. Now bringing up this uh, this blog here I was reading that surprisingly I was reading it on Chrome. No big deal there. So uh, they have actually the, launched a new Firefox here and uh, being a, being a person who actually loved Firefox in the early days, I would be someone who actually would like to give a chance uh, to Firefox again as compared to uh, Chrome. Again, Chrome is a really RAM hungry browser. I really don't want to use it, but there was no good option there. It was the best. And again, so they have promised that they have redesigned everything. There is a nice video here as well. And then uh, a lot of things are coming up here. So I thought, why not to give it a chance to download the latest Mozilla Firefox? And in front of you, I explore all the things here. So I gave it a go. I installed it for me, Mac users. It's really fine. Just drag and drop it. It just installs like that. Okay, cool. So now let me just try to launch the Firefox. And once I launched it at the very first time, I was amazed at how fast a browser can launch. So let me open up my launch pad and let's click on the Firefox icon. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Clicked and it's up. Really fast. Not the fastest on the planet, but yes, I would say it, I felt it much more faster as Chrome and everything. Yes, this is not a comparison like setting a timer and everything, but yes, I do feel that it's really faster. Now, one thing that has impressed me here is the amount of liberty that this browser gives to us. For example, I want to search for me and, oops, and I want to search for here if I can write my name properly, come on. Now this gives you a liberty to search directly from your in URL, that's good. And also it gives you the liberty, maybe you want to search on Google, Yahoo, Bing, directly on Amazon, DuckDuckGo, Twitter, or maybe Wikipedia. I absolutely love this freedom. It should be totally in the hands of user that where you want to search. Yes, uh, typically everybody searches on Google, but maybe it can save like two or three seconds that I'm looking for a laptop. I can directly type laptop and can look for Amazon and can directly search on it like this feature. Right now, most of the time, uh, we all know we are gonna go on to the Google stuff, but yes, it's blazingly fast. Now let's also explore the option of this menu. Yes, we have a private window, also known as incognito mode in uh, Chrome, but we all know the truth about how private the internet is, regardless of that. 
Now, one feature that they are bragging quite a lot is the customize feature. Now, what's impressive about this customize feature is, uh, let's just say we want this full screen option to be at the top. You can just drag and drop it at the top. Voila, you have your new menu bar. Of course, you can include a lot of features directly. Your plugins and add-ons can be uh, put up there. That's awesome, that's cool, but I like the way how the things can be rearranged uh, just wherever you want it. Uh, maybe you want a preference thing here at the top or maybe a download thing, you don't like it. It's, it's so cool. This kind of liberty, I like it. I absolutely love this. Okay, uh, there are a lot of new, new options here, like you can go into the preferences, can check out that what should be your default browsers or what can be your default search engine, current page and uh, what not, rest of the stuff is really good. And uh, this also brings us to our one thing back that yes, Internet is brutal place. It doesn't gives you back much chances that you, you can try again to be the famous and the talk of the town uh, again. But I think, I personally think that Mozilla did it again. And very soon in the future, I think with this blazingly fast speed, it's gonna be really uh, the most favorite browser again for all the people. And yes, the 90s kid who are programming still uh, will absolutely love this because it was the browser which was the most popular in that era, like 2000-ish. Uh, I absolutely love that in that era. So these are my quick words, not quick words, a long video about uh, things that I loved about Mozilla Firefox. I would highly recommend to give it a try, the new Mozilla Firefox. I think you'll love it. And as a developer programmer as well, it's not at all, again, a nightmare for developers and designers. Actually, web websites do run really smoothly on it. And actually, it's much more faster, even with hundreds of tabs being open, as said by Mozilla. So with this, that's it for this video. Do hit the subscribe button in case you are new at this channel. And just like always, I'll surely catch you up in the next video.